Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here like always. Thanks for watching. So my friends, I'm out here in my backyard at my RC park called WAC. Stands for Walkabout Creek since my park is built next to a creek. I thought that would be the perfect name for this. Now this is a scale park and everything. It has houses, it has buildings, it has scale trail runs because that's what I like doing. But we're not talking about the park today. All right, I got plenty of videos talking about this. I actually need to uh, update it because I've done a few new things to it. Right now it's a little bit of mess because we've been having uh, some rain and some uh, some high winds and stuff like that but yeah but anyway i want to talk about the future construction site for the rc construction vehicles that i have because i thought about that it's like you know i'm going to need a place to run these vehicles at and i thought hey i got a nice little area to do that so to do that at now my main thing why the reason why i'm getting into the rc construction vehicles is that i wanted to have it where the vehicles are going to maintenance the course uh you know just like anything i like state park or anything like they have a maintenance crew that goes out and you know make sure the trails are nice and neat and uh all that good stuff doing the maintenance stuff and so that's what i figured i would do was use the construction vehicles to maintenance the course put out the rocks and gravel and stuff like that dirt and you know places like that you know so i choose a location for it so let me flip the camera around I'm doing this off my cell phone I really don't ever film off my cell phone just because it's kind of weird because you know I'm used to my DSR camera which the lens is over here and the viewfinder or the screen is right here where <laughs> where my hands waving at so it's a little kind of difficult but anyway let me switch it around all right so the area I decided to choose is this one little area right here now this used to be where i stored a lot of the uh materials to build the park all the rubble uh concrete rocks uh wood and stuff and i got back here a couple weeks cleaned it all out got rid of some good stuff that you can see back there on that little pile the burn pile there a lot of rotted wood and stuff like that and what was good i kept it over here and built a nice little storage place for it but I was thinking about this area right here. Now it's not too big, it's not too small. It's about 15 by 20, uh, 15 by five feet wide. So not terribly bad. So this is where I'm thinking of running the vehicles. And I think it's a really good location uh, because it will be a good way for get the vehicles to enter in from the backyard to the site and also go through the other side and can uh, go out through the site as well. So, now i'm going to try to do this with all with all of the rc vehicles or the construction vehicles i want to build the whole thing with the construction vehicles uh, i know it's going to take more time to do this i could get out here and just dump a bunch of dirt down spread it out i can have a half a day in it but i, I want to really do it with the rc's uh you know the construction vehicles building the site with the vehicles because that's the whole reason why you have them right to build things and that's the reason why i like the vehicles is because you can build things with it so i definitely want to do that here now it's going to take some time like i said now you probably can't see it too well on camera but the land does slope downwards a little bit because uh you know my backyard start slanting downwards and pouring into the creek there which you see the high water sign over there so i'm gonna to have to build this up a lot now i did go the other day and i got a big old pile of dirt so i got that here and that's going to be put out through the park or put throughout the construction site here so i got to build it up and all that good stuff all the stuff you got to do in the construction field so I'm going to be doing that with all the vehicles. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I know it's, like I said, I know it's going to take me quite some time to do this, but that's the whole point of doing it, <laughs> right? So it's going to be really fun. Now, come over to the other side here. This is another reason why I chose this area here, because it gets a little flat down here around here and you can probably see that slanted a little bit more so I'm gonna have to build this section up right here kind of 
to the maybe top of the timber wood right there but yeah but anyway back over here i wanted to use this this place right here because it'll be easy enough to uh truck the uh or transport the vehicles throughout the park so if you look right there at the house right there this house right here that that little it's not little <laughs> i think it's about four feet high but uh there's a nice straight pathway that goes down there and uh let me show y'all so this nice little pathway that goes straight down and like i said this would be easy to transport the vehicles through raise up and because the way i got my park set up is basically it makes a giant like a giant circle around the whole thing so this would be a good uh road to transport the equipment through and all now i do also want to build a secondary a secondary entrance for the vehicles and this is going to be right here now this is another site that i'm going to have to build up a little bit and stuff like that but i want to do a road right over here right at the main entrance of the park as you see there's this nice flat open area that leads the pathway down the park looks so cool so that's where right now during the summer months all the vegetation and stuff soon it'll be dying off but yeah now originally when i first built the park this was a service entrance right here where you see that four by six right there this was a service entrance for when i was building the park i bring in the rocks and the gravel and stuff like that instead i have to go up from the main entrance truck it all the way back here and stuff like that i had a secondary entrance so that is going to be the entrance the secondary entrance for the construction vehicles to get back here because on the back side where i showed y'all it is a flat portion that goes around but can't really do anything in the middle because there's all the roots rocks and stuff like that there so it kind of you know be hard to transport the vehicles through there with the trucks and trailers and stuff like that so this will be a nice uh a way for the vehicles to get on the other side of the park so yeah so that is the future site for my construction vehicles I want to know what y'all guys think what do you think that's a good location or should i build somewhere else because i honestly have a pretty big backyard i can build pretty much anywhere in this back portion here uh up to about that uh i don't know if you can see that right there <laughs> the water water spigot there uh, so i got all this i can do something with if i want to build an rc racetrack i could if i wanted to but I uh, don't feel like doing that, but <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, I got plenty of space to work with in uh, building a site, and I, I just think that that area will be a pretty nice little site right there to build at. Uh, it definitely has potential, just got to spend some time on it. Like I said, I got that humongous pile of dirt there, which I can always go back and get some more of that stuff. It's very cheap, actually. I found getting dirt... I mean, I could go dig up dirt myself, but I, I actually did that the other day. I went to some place uh, nearby to get some dirt. And after oh, <laughs> after the first two buckets, I was like, yeah, this is going to take forever. I'm just going to go buy dirt. I mean, oh, now you're probably saying, why would you buy dirt? Dirt's free. You can get dirt anywhere. True, but, you know, to get clean dirt and stuff like that. You have to go to a landscaping place and i found it cheaper to go to a landscape place to get dirt and rocks and gravel at versus going out and trying to get it yourself uh you know you'll spend a lot more money going to like home depot and lowe's buying those little five pound bags of rocks and stuff because i did that too i spent like 60 almost 70 dollars in 12 bags of rocks and it didn't cover nearly what i wanted to do so i went to a landscape place and uh got it like a half a ton of number 57 stone for like 60 bucks so that's not bad at all a half a ton and uh i don't know how much dirt i got here this is actually filled dirt uh, i'm not exactly sure how much i got 
uh, it's probably maybe a half a ton or so or half a yard I think so I think and it was only like $14 so I was like ooh, $14 that's not bad <laughs> but uh, yeah so yeah my friends let me know what you think about the site uh, you think that's gonna work out well you know I think so but I just want to get y'all's opinion and see what y'all think about that all right y'all <laughs> you can tell them from the south there <laughs> y'all but uh anyway so yeah all right my friends so thank you for watching and i will see y'all in the next upcoming rc video here on the channel if you like this video make sure you hit that thumbs like button comment down below let me know what you think about the area and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. What are you waiting for? It's free. It doesn't cost anything whatsoever. Just click that little notification, uh, that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. I get that mixed up sometimes, but it's what happens when you have the likes you get and, and the learning disorder sometimes. You, but, yeah, we're not going to get in that. But yeah, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Help me grow. I really would appreciate it if everyone subscribed to the channel and all. So yeah. All right, my friends, so thank you for watching, and I will see y'all in the next upcoming video. Thanks for watching.